All right, so now I'm inside the car. I'm gonna demonstrate the the new features to you. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the car on. All right, so let me show you the cruise control lambda display. Uh, in the help menu, right here, it says that you can use the cancel button on the cruise control to uh, show you your air fuel ratio but uh, I've tried it out and cancel really doesn't do anything so um, it's telling me that uh, this will uh, show you your uh, air fuel display but it doesn't do anything when you press it and after messing around with it for a minute it's actually uh, uh, set the set button here that actually shows you it so you press and hold on to it it'll show you your air fuel ratio so right now it's at 47 45 uh, 44 so that's a, a four, uh, 14 point7 uh, to 1 air fuel ratio so once you let go it'll um, it'll go back to its normal rpm rate uh, reading so press and hold it again and it'll show you your uh, current air fuel ratio if you have your your cruise control on it won't it won't do anything so you want to have it off and then press and hold this one and it'll show you your current air fuel ratio. So according to Hondata, the display is an air fuel ratio times 1000. So for example, 14.7 uh, to 1 uh, ratio is uh, 4700 RPM and 13.2 to 1 is 3200 RPM. So as you can see here, my current air fuel ratio is at 47, 48, 5,000. All right, so now let me demonstrate the launch control, uh, the adjustable launch control. Uh, you can do this now. You can change this without reflashing the ECU uh, with the flashbow unit. So let me demonstrate that for you. In order for you to activate launch control, you will need to put your foot all the way down on the clutch uh, pedal and then press the cancel button it'll show you your current launch limiter mine is at 6000 rpm right now so every button press uh, will be in increments of 100 rpm so let's say I want to lower my um, launch limiter back to 5000 press the uh, decelerate set button uh, 10 times so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you check the new limiter by pressing the cancel button. It's at 5,000 RPM now. So this will be way easier than reflashing your ECU um, every time you want to change your launch limiter because this is a, such a simple thing that uh, that uh, you want to change. You don't want to change anything else. All right. So uh, let me demonstrate this again. So, uh, I want to raise my limiter to 7,000. So uh, remember, foot uh, all the way down on the clutch pedal, and then press the uh, accelerate button here 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now check it, it should be at 7,000 RPM now. 7,000 RPM. That's how easy it is Hondata has made it for us. Let me uh, lower down um, the launch limiter back to 5,000 and demonstrate it for you. All right, so now it's back to 5,000. So put it in first. I'm gonna keep my e-brake on because this is just a demonstration. I'm not gonna launch it. So gas it up. It's at 5,000. So uh, say um, I'm at the track, I'm at the drag strip, right? And 5,000 is too, uh, too low for me to launch at. So, cause I'm barking out, I wanna raise it up. So I wanna raise it up to 6,000. So 10 button presses will raise it up to uh, 6,000. This is so easy. So thank you Hondetta for actually giving us these awesome features um, better late than never 
So lastly, the the last feature that Honda gave us is a uh, flat foot shifting, which is a uh, full throttle shift, um, meaning you can shift uh, with uh, the throttle fully uh, depressed, um, and um, it won't cause any damage to your engine. Um, so uh, I can't demonstrate that for you, but uh, um, I thought I would just mention it um, so that everybody knows. Basically, at the drag strip, uh, you can uh, uh, shift, uh, yeah, change gears at full throttle, and um, it'll be safe for your um, your engine, for your car. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I know that uh, the races have been slow this year, but uh, next year I'll go ahead and um, I'll work on some uh, some more content for you. So, subscribe, follow me on YouTube. Uh, I also have an Instagram at uh, the Tongman TV. So go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram as well.